and describe what combat sort of is and worth it. So basically, I start with this cool design here, and pretty much what this is is a motion sensor rechargeable light. So I've been seeing the way how they design this pod is actually pretty cool. It allows you guys to use it as an LED light strip, but it's connected to right here to generate power onto it. And since it does have the motion sensor option, it allows you guys to actually save a lot of electricity or battery when you guys do use it, which is perfect, especially during like emergency when there's a power outage. And the way how they design this product allows you guys to use it in a closet where there's usually no light. If you guys saw my previous video, I actually viewed this long time ago, maybe over like two years already. And honestly, this product has been working really well. I actually had to set up in a few different rooms and turn it closet and it's been working really well. I love it so much. So before I show you guys the setup of what it actually looks like, let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So I have to open up. Here's everything that's included inside. So they do provide the cable for it to recharge the product, which is USB to micro SB. They provide guys two of these powers. So this power right here is a motion sensor option. And inside right here, we do have the option for your plug-in cable to charge it, which is really cool. Like I mentioned, especially when there's a power outage, we guys can plug in like a power bank to recharge it or keep it charged. And right here, we do have the option for you guys to turn on the auto option and manual option. So manual option is where you guys turn on manually, whereas auto option is motion sensor. And in front right here, we do have the button for the turn on and turn off. Top part right here is where you can plug in cable for the light strip. And the back part right here is where you can stick onto the wall. And for each one of them, it is magnetic. So you do have the option to take it out and stick it on right there. Where for the back part, it's like a CM tape for you to stick onto the wall when you got to set it up, which is really nice. So here's what this part looks like. Next up right here, they do price accessory for you guys to manage the cable if you guys do need to. So it's pretty much like a clip option. And the back part has a 3M tape for you to stick it on. And then right here, we do have the user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And they mentioned how you do have the option cut it if it's too long or too short. And then right here, we do have the product. So they do probably guys two of them in this pack. And when you guys do purchase it, they do have the option for you to buy a longer one or shorter one. For this one in particular, it's 6.56 feet long. And there's two of them, which is more than enough for you to use for two different rooms if you guys do want to. So I should open up and show you guys what it looks like. So right here is what the inside looks like. So this side is where you guys want to plug it in to actually product to actually start using it. And other side is where you guys want to pull it out to stick it onto the wall. I won't pull it out for now because I already have it set up. So I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second. But one right now is connected to show you guys what it looks like. So you see how once you guys do turn it on, it does turn on. If you guys press on this button, you do have the option to turn it on or turn it off. And if you guys turn on auto mode, that is auto mode. So once it does sense motion on here, it will turn on. And then once it does not sense motion, it will turn off. So very easy and very simple for you then. And that is everything that's included in the package. What I'm doing right now is plugging cable to show you guys how to recharge it or how to know when it's recharging. So I do plug in cable on side. Once you guys do plug in cable, it does show you guys right here that it's charging. It might be hard for me to show it in the video, but it does show a red right in here light. And assuming once it's fully charged, that light should turn off or change a different color like green. So that is how I do charge it. And for this product, when you guys do have a cable plugged in, you still have the option to use it, which is pretty cool. So that way you can use it wired or wireless. Let me show you what I mean. If I do plug it in, if I turn it on, you can see how it does stay on. So that is everything that's on the product. Now I'm explaining this over to the other room where I actually have it set up to show you guys what she looks like, to give you guys an idea of how to set it up and what she looks like when you guys do use it, and also show you guys how long you guys do need when you guys do purchase, whether the short one or the long one, and then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so here's what the pot looks like when you guys do set it up. Let me show you guys a wide angle view of what the pot looks like. So here's what she looks like. So I got it all around this room right here, all the way to this part right here in this corner. And if you guys notice how I'm moving right now, it doesn't turn on because it is in a bright setting. But if I do turn off the light, if I do move, it does turn on. So the pilot definitely does work as a motion sensor option when you guys do use it. And this is what the pot looks like. So it definitely looks very cool so that we can bright up your room when you guys do use it. And very easy and very simple for your setup. Literally all you need to do is stick it onto the back part right here. And it does turn on when you guys are in dark setting, but not a bright setting. If I do move this part right here in the back, if you see how it is sticked onto the back, and all I need is one of them to stick it on, I didn't use the other one. So very easy and very simple for you to use it. Welcome back, guys. So nice little quick test the pot, it definitely says she does work and she works quite well. If you can see for the one that I got right there all set up, that is a white one. They also have this available in a warm white option. So if you guys want something that's a warm, like yellowish color, you can get that instead. For me personally, I got the white one because I do like the white one a lot more. It makes it a lot more brighter, especially in your closet, which is actually really dark. But the whole set of pots and everything didn't take that long. 
Once you guys be able to tape the stick onto the wall for the light strip and actual remote, which is this part right here, then everything is actually very easy for it to use. And like I mentioned, the fact that how I should use a micro USB option to recharge it, it makes it so convenient, especially during like a power outage when there's no power. So if you guys want to set this into your closet, or if you guys want to set it underneath a cabinet, or if you guys want to set this up in your room or something, it'd be really nice and very convenient during those times. But that is everything that's on the product. So after using the product for almost two years, would I say that's still pretty worth it? For me personally, I still have to say that it's actually really worth it because it's so convenient for you guys to use for as an emergency when you guys don't have power. And also if you guys do have a really dark closet where there's no light, then that is where one of these actually comes in handy. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, that is don't buy one and save your mind something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.